Hello everyone, did you know that it's now possible to get the awesome Gmod mount completely solo? This mount drops from the Mechatork encounter in the Battle for the Zaralor raid on normal, heroic and mythic difficulty, but it also drops from Jaina on the LFR difficulty of the same raid. The good news is that the LFR version of the raid is fairly easy to solo on a level 70 character as long as it's around item level 400 or above. It can be soloed by some classes below that but there's a couple of mechanics that need a bit of a DPS so I personally don't recommend going in until you get to at least 400. To enter the counter on the Horde side, you need to head into the Hall of Chroniclers, which is in the Great Seal in Desire Lore, and speak to Epo. You want to select the one about victory or death. For the Alliance, go into the main inn in Baralis and speak to Kiki. Here you want to select the one about the might of the Alliance. If you're on the Alliance side, you will spawn on a boat. You just need to wait for the RP to finish. It does take a few minutes and you can't skip it, sadly. And then you'll get moved to the main encounter area. If it doesn't start, click on Anjun and that should give it a wee kick to get the RP started. Now, this raid has a unique mechanic where the Alliance players get transformed into a Horde character. So keep in mind that that does affect your racial abilities. Once he's engaged, these shock bots will spawn that will stun you. These bots have quite a lot of health and I don't recommend trying to kill them. I personally found the best way to deal with it is to use a movement ability to run away whenever the bots get close. The boss will then charge at you and you'll be able to keep damaging them. Midway through, the boss will take off and will be immune for a bit. Well, while he's doing that, you just need to run about avoiding the bots until he comes back down and then you can get back to doing damage and get him killed. Now, do remember but the mount does not drop from Mechatork on LFR. Now, Stormwind Blockade has three bosses. The boss on the right hand side has a mind control mechanic, and if that goes off, it will wipe you, which makes this fight a bit of a DPS race. If you're below item level 480 or so, I recommend having your cooldowns ready for this one, and I also recommend doing that boss on the right first. So, we're going to click on the flyer on the right hand side to get over to the boss. After killing the boss, we click on the orb to go left and kill that boss. This boss is easy peasy, you can just ignore the mechanics, they don't really hurt. And after you kill the boss, click on the orb and we go back to the main boss. The main boss is also pretty easy. There is an ad that may spawn and that ad can heal the boss a little, but the healing isn't very much. So I personally recommend just sticking on the boss and damaging them down, just ignoring the ad. Um, in this case, the ad didn't actually spawn for me. Fortunately, I had enough damage to avoid it spawning, which was pretty nice. Finally, we're on to Jaina. Once you're on the ship, click on the captain and sit down to enjoy some more of that unskippable RP. Don't you just love it? Once Jaina finally condescends to come down, for the first phase, it's pretty easy. You just avoid a big ice frontal and damage her down to about 45%-ish, which is where she will do this. And then it's into phase two. The start of phase two can be a bit disorienting, but you just head down the ramp and then look for where the little rings are coming from. Jaina will be the source of those rings, so you just head towards where they're coming from and she'll be pretty easy to find. Once you get to Jaina, just hit her again and then she will eventually teleport away. Now this next bit can be a little bit challenging, especially in low DPS. So you might want to keep your countdowns for it, but what you want to do is to kill one of the barrels and then stand inside its flaming circle. That gives you protection against being ice blocked by Jaina. It's a bit hard to see in the video, but it does reach Jaina and then you just damage her down until you get her to 5%. Now, don't use heroism in this fight as Jaina will ice block if you do. And that's, well, basically that. It's short and sweet guide this time. If you found this guide useful, do hit that like icon. This will let both me and YouTube know that I should be doing more of these guides. And if you'd like to support my content, please, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you'll be notified whenever I release new content. There's going to be loads more guides, news and opinions about World of Warcraft to come. Thanks for watching and I will see you all again soon.